it's been a little bit, but who remembers what from last time? All that I remember is that um, we're battling spores and fungus mm-hmm. among us. Mm-hmm. Sussus, Bussus, Bucky, Cocky, and um, giant hole opened up in the ground. Everyone's freaking out. Isaac died. Rachel is on the deathbed to die. Isaac is not dead yet. He's being dragged in. Aether is being controlled by um, Such my. the Zuck My Dick and. Um, Zenith is having to do battle with him. Um, Ophelia is battling Aether. Aku is up on the rafters doing Aku shit. And I have no idea where Jiri is. <laughs> Jerry has been chilling or, in front of the... Or is Jerry dead? No, Jerry's fine. He's been chilling at the front of the, the, the church. <laughs> Along with Brad. Oh, so, yeah, Brad. <laughs> you and Brad just chilling. Eat some shit, Brad. Eat some goddamn shit. <laughs> Brad takes a nice long whiff of his pipe. I am Brad. Man, Brad sounds like he's sick of everybody's shit. <laughs> Brad's just done. <laughs> he's just chosen not to participate any further. It's like, you know what? I'm done here. <laughs> Brad is done. I'm done. <laughs> I am Brad and I am done. <laughs> Aku is now the one to understand the bread best. <laughs> oh, fuck. You connect on a spiritual level. You know, there's worse things. <laughs> Connecting with Aku in, on a spiritual level? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, shit is definitely hitting the fan right now. Um, Isaac is about one turn away from being sucked into a black hole. Um, it is. Aether is trying to fight off control, and Zenith is about two turns from being dragged in, same as Rachel. So, no, Zenith is, uh, he's down. Yes, but he's still being dragged into the black hole. <laughs> <clears throat> so he's still alive he's just hanging around and we will see how this goes hmm. so are we still in combat or no out of character I don't care if either one of them die oh no someone is dying today I'm, I'm quite ready to move forward so am I <laughs> just let, let it be so what I've, it's been so long, I've pretty much forgotten who's going first in this battle. I've also forgotten, so we'll just make this nice and easy. Just give me a re-initiative roll. I got a 23. Wait, who are we fighting? Suck my well no suck my is dead. Yeah, uh, I killed her. Uh, so that'd be Aether. <laughs> oh yeah. You killed Zuck mine? I don't think you did. I beheaded that bitch. Yeah, he he that's... dumpstered her and then stuck her inside her own coffin. Yep, that's one of those things that I do do remember is that I I fucked that bitch up. Oh yeah, it was gonna be. I remember talking. It was gonna be Aku versus Aether. And Aether, I remember now Aether put up a whirlpool. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And it's like, has holy water and shit in it. So, it's gonna, gonna be difficult for Aku to get close. That's okay. Uh, Mr. DM? 
Yes. I don't think I'm big chillin'. I think I'm on my deathbed right now. Are you <laughs> pulling death saves? Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> I have one success so far. <laughs> okay, maybe you are down. I have forgotten this. <laughs> I am not right. chillin'. <laughs> the only person that can help him, I think, is Ophelia. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was it was gonna be Aether versus Ophelia and Ophelia was thinking about hightailing it out of there. Yeah, Ophelia was just thinking about like how shit is hitting the fan and uh saving their skin might be a good idea. Which at the moment I really don't blame her. Things are going sideways. But I will say for the moment she suffered a fit of narcolepsy. <laughs> oh, this is too much for me. <laughs> Wait, I gotta ask. Can Rachel do any kind of saving of any kind? We kind of already uh, did that. Yes, if she was free. Alright. Well, she could definitely save someone if she was free. Aether kind of has to carry out the will of this controller, since he doesn't have any control right now. Yep. By That's the way, fine. Aether got a 7, Zenith got a 12. Okay. So, let me see what that is then in total. Funny how the dead corpse moves faster than the man on two legs. <laughs> so, Aether came before the Zenith. Um, I think Aqua was first. What did Derry get? I'm on the death save, but I still go. Oh, wait. Uh, I mean, yes, technically you would. Cause... Alright, I got a 19. Okay, so you're making your death save second then. Oh, yeah. Um, Isaac with his death saves. And... Great job. And we will stick Ophelia in when they come in. All right, right now. All right, I tried. Oh what my the God! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, shit. Okay, that was too good. That was too good. Did I have miraculous timing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jerry just conjured you. Oh my God! That was so good. You just forced that into existence, you fuck. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that like, Hello, Gary did I'm here. actual Gary Mandarin things. Okay. Ophelia! I'm Ophelia, and I'm here. Hello. Ophelia, I've missed you. Hello, hello. I am Brad. I, I'm Brad. I'm gonna die. Mentally. I, like, be it brain aneurysm. I'm just gonna die. So, Aku, what you gonna do, brother? Oh, uh, we're gonna... Uh, Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, oh. I do need Ophelia to get a initiative roll in since they're here now, so. Good timing. Good timing. Initiative? Initiative, because we are presenting. That's an eight. Oh, perfect. So I think I'll you go in between bottom. Aether and Zenith. Wow, I, I'm not at the bottom. That's sad. <laughs> Correct. So that's actually pretty perfect. I'm okay with this. Alright, alright. I will say one thing, Aku. Since we are starting over initiative, normally you would get, you know, everything. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> it seems fair. I'm not going to argue with you on that. <laughs> Aku's not really in the mood to fight. Alrighty then. So, what you going to do, homie? Uh, how far am I from Rachel? You are... If you dash to her... You probably could make it, but you do have to evade some tentacles. Well, I can definitely do that if it's an acrobatics roll or... The how save. far is he... How far is Aether away from Rachel? How far is Aether away from Rachel? You are standing in the middle of the room as everyone's getting dragged, so actually you're probably closer to Rachel. So he's going to incur opportunity attack then? On Aku, yeah. As he passes by. <laughs> Wait... So, he's still part demon, right? Aku? Yes. How much, yeah, that how, much, how much damage is he taking from the whirlpool? 
I mean, I'm up on the chandelier. I could cause... jump over your ass. That is also true. It has a vertical height, so he could try and scale over it. Yeah, I'll still take a... I'll still try to hit or you, though. I can be fucking Spider-Man, get on the ceiling, and just walk down like a badass. <clears throat> um, What is your walking distance? It's 35, right? 35. So, give me an acrobatics check. Okay. Uh, that's a 27. Okay, yeah. You would probably just be able to, like, wall run your way around this. I can shoot him, though. Yeah, if you're in, uh, what are you in, what would you shoot him with? Uh, 80 foot range hunting rifle. Yeah, that'll work. Wait, Zenith or Aether? Aether has a hunting rifle. Yeah. Really? He picked he up picked a gun. Up, he picked up Zenith's hunting rifle last time. Ah, uh, yeah. Some more fungus will sprout where you are. Fingers oh. crossed your armor class will be Oh, that's a seven. You yeah. are not in bullets, but there's think... just crowding behind you. Yeah, I think I'm all right. Just going to strut my way on over to Rachel. How are you wall running and dodging bullets at the same time? Because I'm, I'm cool as hell. <laughs> all right, you have managed to dash your way over to Rachel. Um, only problem is now you don't have an action to use, right? So, wait, does that did that count as my action? Dash is an yeah. action. Dash would be the full action. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you'll have to wait a turn to do something fancy here. But what are you planning? You want to say anything? I was going to say, you know, reach out and grab my hand. To Rachel, specifically. Aether would just say, damn, I missed! Rachel looks up at you in the most apathetic way possible as she's being dragged into a black hole. You came all the way over here just to shake my hand? Shake <laughs> my hand! God damn it. She's going to reach for your hand on her turn. <laughs> Jerry! Hello. Time to Hello. save myself. <laughs> That is a failure. failure. Jerry is one for one on death's door. Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Rachel is going to grab your hand. Um. You do realize, though, I can't move, right? That's uh, okay. I'm strong. All right. Give me a. Athletics check. Uh, that's a 25. Okay. You yank her arm so hard it has popped out of place. But with kicking and screaming ensuing, she has kicked off the tentacle and you have managed to pull her away from it. Uh, hearing the scream. Uh, my bad. I yes, you just I, your dad. Yeah, I, I'm strong. And I have a very feeble frame. Uh, ow. I'm sorry. Now, what did you need me to do? Go help Jerry. Oh. How would I help Jerry? He deserves to live. Ah, oh, you care no, about no. your side. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, it seems you're being a parent, finally. I mean... I wonder if he forgave you for all those years without the milk. Milk? <laughs> milk. I'm not giving him my milk. <laughs> I never implied that was the kind of dad you were, but I guess you have a
a special relationship with your boy, don't you? Then I completely misunderstood this entire conversation, and I'm gonna end it. Now. Rachel <laughs> looks up at you, what milk? I don't that... know. Do you have udders? No. Probably. <laughs> Depends on your perspective on the male anatomy. <laughs> Oh, he has one. He has one utter. I'm sure you could stroke it for him. It has one eye. Does it have one horn? I think it is a horn. Technically, two if you count the ones below. Is it flying? <laughs> Does it eat people? Mm, people. Yes. Is a, is a one eyed, one horned flying purple people eater? <laughs> I sure hope it's not purple. Because there would be oh, some. Dear God. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Blue. After moments of thinking. Blue yes. waffles. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. Um, Whose turn is it? it it's Rachel's. Uh, and to end this conversation, she's going to cast a fourth level Wither and Bloom. Okay. On who? It's an AoE, actually. Each creature of your choice in that area must make a con save, taking 2d6 necrotic damage or half as much on a successful. Uh, in addition, one creature of your choice in that area can spend and roll one of its unspent hit dice and regain a number of hit points. She's choosing Jerry. So who's taking the necrotic damage? That... I'm ready. She knows you're undead, so it probably won't be you. But there's also no choice. You know what? Yes, there is. He's going to go ahead and smack Akudama with it. Yep, that tracks. That makes sense. I can take it. I'm strong. Give me a con save, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's a six. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. you're keeping the full necrotic. Damn, it went from 20 <laughs> and it just moved over to a two. Get wrecked. If he turns... To you after healing Jerry and just reels up a slap right across your face. I deserve that. I'm sorry. You have taken 11 necrotic damage. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can deal with the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that's, that's a good question. Let me see. Uh, roll one of its unspent hit dice. So, what is your hit dice, Jerry? <laughs> Go to your short yeah, rest. Uh, short rest. Is it a 1d10, I think? My what? If you do a short rest, it oh, should God. say, like, class and then hit dice is whatever, 1d10. Uh, mine is a 1d10. Okay, perfect. So, it's going to be, since it was 4th level... Um, can be spent and added to the heal or increased by one per slot. Okay, so you're using three of those hit dice for HP. Three D tens. Yep. One one and one. That would be sad. All right, eighteen, eighteen health. Back, back, okay. Back, 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 back. Do death say oh, no, do no, no, no. death fails stack if he gets like. <laughs> gets knocked gets unconscious knocked out, yeah. and then healed and then knocked unconscious and he fails and healed. By, me stop doing that. <laughs> By mechanics purposes, no, it would not stack, but it would be intense suffering. I'm saved. Oh, I'm saved. Revive, smack, revive, smack, revive, smack. <laughs> Spare the dying smack. Spare the dying smack. Light death, light death. Alright, anyway. <laughs> So, it's, uh, Aether's it turn. Oh, Ophelia. No. No. No, Aatron. You saw nothing. You can't hide your mistakes from me. Oh! And your sins. You are my mistake. <laughs> Out of character, I missed you, Ophelia. In character, Ophelia. It is such a pleasure to see you. 
I might have to have you with me, with my friends, forever. Nah. 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 Shall you do a duel with me, Ophelia? I would be most gracious of you. Honestly, my friend, uh, I... You are a different level of battling than I am. I know that if I were to 1v1 you, you would, you would kill me. I would be dead, like, straight up. Uh, so, no, I won't duel you, but I will join in on this, like, 4v1 or however many of us there are. Doth thou mage jest? Might I say that while I may not know what strickens me to fight you, and what I do wish that you may purge me from this mental coil, I have to move forward. I am sorry. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> How far is Aku away from him? Um. Hmm. How far is Aku away from who? Uh. Aether. Aether? Um. Aku and Rachel are approximately 30 feet. And my whirlpool stretches out 15 feet in front of me. Yes, this would be correct. So, if I was to move 25 feet towards them, they'd be hit with the whirlpool. Mm -hmm. And put in swinging distance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move... 25... If you move towards me, do I get an opportunity? So, opportunity attack is kind of weird, how it works. It's if he's trying to run away from you. Oh. Like if he's in your range and then is trying to get out of your range, that's uh, how opportunity attack would work. It's so like when you went to Rachel, if you passed by me, that'd be an opportunity attack because you're running away from me. Yeah. But if I'm running okay. towards you, uh, no. There are certain classes oh. that let an opportunity attack happen like that, but yeah. Like, um, I think it's like Sentinel is one, um, defense fighting, and there's a knight class that allows you to do it. There's also, um, a monk class that does it too but yeah none of those things apply at the moment so so he's going to rush towards you at 25 feet so you're getting hit with the whirlpool uh how do i measure damage for this because it's radiant water holiness whirlpool mixed with salt because i have a spell similar to this but Freedom of Waves. So you just want me to remove, like, <clears throat> roll Freedom of Waves critted? So, no, not yet. Um, let me see something. Freedom of Waves. Okay. Um... It would be that plus Okay. I see. It would be two D eight plus two D six and then that's critted, so it'd be forty eight and forty six. But you have to make a spell save against a strength save? Well, the effect is an oath that he can call forth at any time. No, I know. I'm saying Aku needs to make a strength save. Okay. Oh. <laughs> if we're going I based a... off the spell, 15. then... Yeah, 15. And Rachel needs to make the same strength save, so give me just a second. The save DC is 17. Yep. And oh. Rachel only got a 14. Oh, 14 plus 2. Nope, still 16. Okay. So you want me to roll the damage? Uh, yep. 4d8 and 4d6 for Aku. 2d8, 2d6 for Rachel. So he's taking... I'll just... Just times the 18 for... 18 for Rachel and then times it by 2 for Aku. Okay. So Rachel is running low on <laughs> HP for sure. She's 
gotten a face full of light and water. And right now. as his action, how much damage is Aku taking? It's like what? From that whirlpool, it was 36. If it okay. was 18 times 2. Yeah, 18 mm -hmm. times 2. My brain's not with math right now. <clears throat> then Aether is going to pull out his sword. Well, my friend, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. He's going to slash at Rachel. Oh. Mm. With a nine life stealer longsword. Mm. That's a 28 to hit. Okay. Let me see something. Okay. Okay. Yep, that works with me. That definitely hits. Uh, the damage is 11 damage. Okay. Does that... You have managed to lop off her arm from the elbow down. Is she dead yet? No. The arm that Ophelia gave her is now on the ground, though. 17 to hit? Dang it. Uh, 17 does not hit. Okay. And actually, as you miss the hit, she does a reaction with her... Um, what martial arts dice here? So... Not martial arts dice, the... um. Battlemaster's dice. Superiority dice. There we go. So she's actually going to attack you back with... Let me see. What looks like a small dagger to you. Okay. Does a fourteen plus four hit? That's no. I have an arm class of twenty. Mm. Okay. It clanks against your armor, <clears throat> but you're immediately. Give me an insight. That's a twenty-one. You're immediately off-put by the dagger, and it feels like your undeath is being sucked into it. As a bonus action, he's going to misty step away. Okay. I'm guessing this would... Uh, well... What did you say? Well, instead of that, I'll just use Expeditious uh, Retreat and okay. just dash away instead. <clears throat> so he's going to use an Expeditious Retreat as a bonus action and back up 25 feet. Okay, that sounds fine with me. Ophelia, you're up. You're up. Uh, <laughs> so he's back to the same distance away from Ophelia. Yep. Well, it seems I'm back in your quarter, friend. Friend, I really don't want to have to engage with you, because while I can't beat you in a fight... Are you certain? I could... I don't want to do anything to you that I might have to do, so let's just keep your distance, then we'll be fine. Uh... Damn, I'm what? sorry, I can't do that, friend. Well, I am not prepared to. Do. First, I want to before I kick anyone's ass. I want to. There is a. There is a. There is a. Kick him in the ball. There is a hex blades curse on you, by the way. What are you doing, Ophelia? Doing your mom. Doing doing your oh, mom. Fuck. Uh, no, I wanted to ask, for the black holes, anyone else getting sucked into that? Yeah, Isaac's unconscious body is making its way there. That's, That's what I thought. Insane. Um, can you tell me what the force of that black hole is? Is it a literal black hole force, or, like, is there a, like, 
much strength that you could estimate that it would have. Okay, so the literal description, right, is this two-foot diameter black sphere is a hole in the multiverse, hovering in space, stabilized by magical field. Without saying it's a black hole, it's a black hole. Okay. Um, if you are within 60 feet of the uncontrolled sphere, you can make an arcana check, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, on a fail, smooth. Uh, okay. I forgot about that. Thank you for making me check that. Uh-huh. Um, so it cuts movement away from it by half. Mm-hmm. But if you try, you can control the black hole. The sphere is stationary until someone controls it. If you are within 60 feet of an uncontrolled sphere, you can use an action to make a arcana check. On a success, the sphere levitates in one direction of your choice, uh, equal to five times your in intelligence mod. On a fail, it moves 10 feet towards you. Interesting. Um, still worried about the force in which it is pulling because I was thinking about using, because I, I don't have good strength, so I couldn't physically pull Isaac away, I don't think. But I was thinking of using the spell Levitate, which so technically does... It can pull up to 500 pounds. It operates weird. It's subjective. Mm -hmm. So, like, for you, it would cut your movement speed to 15. But for Aku, since his movement speed is higher, he'd be at, like, 16. Mm -hmm. So, no matter what, it's, like, half your movement speed. So, technically, since Isaac is... It's like a layer. It's like a layer thing. Since Isaac's not moving, it's not <clears throat> actually pulling him. It's just the vines like, that are pulling him. The tentacles. The, the tendrils. Oh, the tentacles are pulling him into it. Yes. Got it. I forgot there were tentacles, and they weren't just, like, getting sucked in. Thank you for the um, clarification. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the... Um, no, no, that's okay. I, I'm. It's been a while since I've thought about the object also, so, like... Ooh, I wonder what would happen since it's, it's like, it's magic. What if I was to dispel it? Ooh. There it is. Uh, ability. DC, higher levels. How far do I have? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll try that. I'm gonna try casting Dispel Magic on the, uh, the whole... Counterspell. Sphere play. Uh, I don't know if it would be a counterspell since it's already been cast, right? Mm, you can try and use a reaction. Like, he, he can use a reaction to use Counterspell. I haven't used my reaction yet. <clears throat> so technically it's something he could do. Oh, he's going to Counterspell my spell. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I don't think I can use Counterspell. But what level are you casting um, Dispel Magic? Mm, I can only cast it at third level. Okay, so... Fourth level Counterspell. Creature's third level or lower, the spell fails and has no effect. Okay, so it does fizzle, unfortunately. Sedge. Alright. Then... It's just gonna, like, hold up a hand... Not today, my friend. Sorry. Sausage. <laughs> I can't throw you that easy of a bone. Why not? Is there a reason not to? Because I'm made of them. Are you are you talking to God? Do you hear the voice of God? Oh, what? he is he. Did lose his faith, but you know has a faith back. So technically, you are the god here. <clears throat> For O oh, dear Lord, I prayeth to bring upon thine crusade that I may bringeth into new glory your greatest gifts of the world. <laughs> I must smite somebody into a potato. <laughs> Excellent, my lord. <laughs> I didn't say who. Might we bring the holy cream cheese? Yes, Lord. <laughs> Aether's just going insane right now. 
is going on this in-game monologue <laughs> of bagels and cream cheese. Oh, for thine god, thine bagel is amazing. Thine bagel. Spread your cream cheese across our bagels. We shall prostrate ourselves before you. I am Brad. I remember Brad is done with this. <laughs> JK, I don't know what, how Brad feels. What shall the Ophelia do now? That's the end of my turn. I can't do anything else. <laughs> you don't have anything you can do for a bonus action? No, not really. Okie dokie. You exchange dialogue with me. I'm gonna glare at him. <laughs> How dare you fizz off my spell? Yes. Ophelia also done with this shit. I would just say, my friends, I don't wish to hurt you either. Yes, you do. I. <laughs> my body says it wants to, <laughs> but my thoughts do not. <laughs> Please, my friend, escape from here. I don't. I do, but I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> uh, Isaac, buddy, you want to get up? You want to? You want to be insane a little bit, please? Actually, it's Zenith's turn. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. I gotta make I a dex. I gotta make a death save. Yes. Okay. That's a success. One success, one failure. And I already rolled Isaac's next one, and unfortunately that is his second death save failure. <laughs> Tis Aku's turn. someone would die today, and it's looking like there might be multiple someones. So. Aku, Kaku. Hey. Era, Era Aku? Ana Ana? What? I was saying era, oh, like man. era Kakra, like era Aku. Eh. Era Kakru. Anyways. Era Kakru. <laughs> I'm just gonna yell out to everybody else. Are we gonna kick this guy's ass? What are we doing? Well, I am kicking someone's ass, and I'm apparently. Not talking it's... To you. <laughs> you just hear a tweet. He ignores <laughs> <laughs> there. I would then uh, speak to me. Are we kicking his ass? Am I stabbing him? Are you stabbing me? Are you stabbing him? Rachel looks up at you. Am I stabbing him? He looks down at Rachel. Are you she stabbing me? He hands you uh, the knife she was using. Are huh. you stabbing him? Are you gonna wink at me? Is, is this code? Go stab him! Go fucking stab him! Uh, okay. He takes the knife from her. He's and gonna... he just winks at you very viciously. <laughs> Stop hitting on me. I'm shy. He climbs up the wall like Spider-Man. Uh, You're gonna try to dive bomb him? 27. 27 for what? Acrobatics. Okay. So, you are spider man -ing. Very well, up the wall instead of wall running up the wall. Yeah. So I basically have to dive bomb Aether for your just to answer your question. Otherwise, I got to deal with the whirlpool. And that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna have to fall with style on top of Aether. Yeah. Hope he doesn't, uh, you know, stab you. I'm gonna. Hmm. Would that be, I don't know, it wouldn't be an opportunity attack because he's dive bombing me. Yeah, I'm coming at you according to what, what we learned a few minutes ago. So, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking do some stabs. First, we're gonna dive bomb this motherfucker like a badass. I'm gonna kick off the wall as hard as I possibly can. Acrobatics, that yeah. motherfucker. Oh, you want me to acrobatics that motherfucker? You, you, you got it, bud. <laughs> That's a twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, you're handballing. All right. We're going knife first. Come at me, you worthless slugger! Oh. <laughs> so, uh, we're 
gonna stab first with the blade of broken mirrors. Would I get sneak attack? Do you want to use the blade of? Well, I'll let you choose what you want to use. Do you want to use the blade of broken mirrors? Do you want to use what she gave you? Do you want to use what are you what are you using? Well, first I have two attacks. Ooh, smart man. So right. we're gonna do some you know damage. You know we're gonna we're gonna juice it with all everything <laughs> that we can. Okay, juice. Juice me, baby. Juice me. Uh, yeah. So, first, let's see if we roll. Or hit. You fucking failure! It's a 16. That doesn't hit. You just kind of look. He's like, oh! You're going to do what now? I never heard you. Seems. A little too fast. And. Just, you pulled out your. You pulled out the blade of broken mirrors a little too slow. So, does he like, fall. Your hand on the floor. Does yeah. he fall into the whirlpool? He falls into the middle of the whirlpool, which should be empty. <clears throat> Can I use a reaction to make hellish rebuke since he's attacking me? Um, I don't. Let me see if hellish rebuke requires that he makes contact. If it does not, then you should be. Ah, he has to damage me. Yeah, he has to damage you. He's got to make contact. <laughs> You've made contact with my plate armor on your face. You've also yeah. made contact with the floor on your face. Yeah. I should take some health, shouldn't I? Well, uh, my friend. I mean, it would I mean be fair. A, actually, that's a good point. It's 5d10 because you jumped off the ceiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I kicked off of it thinking I was cool. I just face planted. That's not okay. <laughs> so, how many d10? That's probably double. That'd be a 10d10. God damn! Well, cause you went with you force. Went no, you went I, I, I get it. But god damn, that's that's a seventy-three. Oh fuck! Oh, I just rolled it myself. Oh no, okay. Gee. So I mean, I rolled a fifty-one, but it's your call, there, big guy. I'll I'll take the. You know what? No, I'll, I'll take the seventy-three. You've got more than enough hit points. You're fine. For now, and yeah. now I don't. And now I don't have enough hit points. I just, okay. I just want you to know that as he's looking down at you, and you look at him, there's just like the red woke eyes looking down at you. No, it's okay. Thankfully, though, left. I do have one attack left. Uh -huh. It's a very interesting. I need to, I need to check something. Hold on. Ha <laughs> uh, It doesn't matter what I use it with, I can still heal from any kind of attack. Let's fucking go. No, if you don't keep... <laughs> shit, oh, shit just exploded every time I shift, so I don't know why. Anyways. Um, yeah, we're going to attack again, and I want to do damage, because my, my Fifi's and my ego is hurt. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so let's try this. Let's try this again. So we're going to strike with good old Ragzul. Okay. You smack with Ragzul. Well, got to roll again. But that one's a 32. That one hits. You will hit. Yeah. Should have did that I the first time. Feel the need to inform you of one severe problem. Okay. The tattoo. Yeah. Does necrotic damage. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. So strike me with your damage. Or. And heal wait. me. Joke's on you, nerd. I can expend. Well, well when I hit a, cre hit a creature with a weapon attack, I can expend a charge to deal an extra 4d6 necrotic damage. I don't fucking have to. You don't. But does Ragzul. Does uh, Aku really want to do damage right now? Yes, he does. I mean, yeah, but I don't need extra 4d6 necrotic damage to heal him. I mean, so, you just realize this now, but... I, mean, I hit like a fucking truck. It doesn't matter. <laughs> give, me, give me an insight really quick. All right. Just to see if you're thinking in the heat of the moment. No. 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 That's a nine. No. You're not thinking in the heat of the moment. 
So I'm basically losing my choice to use my own <laughs> yep. ability. Yep. No, not necessarily. Oh, well, I mean, no, from what this is happening, that, that's exactly what's happening. Because you were gonna do the damage before, and then the DM informs you, and then now you're changing. Uh, no. I said I was going to do the damage. I never said anything about the necrotic. He brought it up before I even did. Ah, I that's see. True. No, that's true. That's fair. How he chooses to do the damage is entirely up to him, I suppose. So. Okay. I will take that on the nose for me. So. What shall you do, Aku? What damage? I see that fucking shit-eating grin is gone now. Lamau. It's I not. I'm. I'm still smiling. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. I admit. <laughs> you were wanting me to get a crit heal off that, weren't you? I wasn't wanting a crit heal, just a regular heal. I just would have found it funny. Yeah, no, I'm not that fucking dumb. I didn't even say you were. Yeah, you just assumed little, that I was. A little bit, I, yeah. I, you kind of are. To give you a little bit of credit is an kinda are. statement. Kind of are. Kind of. But, you uh, know, whatever. Hit me, hit me with that damage, boy. Anyways, uh... Do I get... Crank the lion. Question. Do I get sneak attack from this? No. Yes, probably I would, not. I would think not, considering you're not in stealth. You don't have advantage in any way, so that would be a no on that one. Alright then, so that makes that easy. So let's roll the base damage first. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an 11. Wouldn't you get max damage here? I feel like you would. Oh yeah, I am wearing the mask, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Fuck, yes, I forget. 1d4 plus 8. What's max damage on that, then? 12. What? That's 12 damage right there. 12, alright, so 12. So one off from the nook. Yep, hey, I would never claim to be good at math. Okay. A nice crunch into the armor here. I can add 1d6 of fire damage. Two blade of broken mirrors, but I imagine you're fucking like immune to it. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he takes fire damage. I don't crit from fire damage, but I can take fire damage. Yeah, so okay. he takes six damage there. So that's cool. another. So yeah, six. So that's a max of six damage. <clears throat> yep, and then uh, let me see here. I'm just letting you know I'm rolling a hellish rebuke. I mean, that's that's fine. So once you're done with us, we'll do that. I got, I got to go through everything, so yep. bear with me here. Yeah, take your time, take your time. It's, it's been a while. Take your time, I have a couple hours. <laughs> well, I don't, so, you know. What about a diaper? The roof monger? Can't do that, so... Poison doesn't hurt me. <clears throat> oh, okay, so it doesn't matter then. So yeah, that's kind of it, I guess. Okay, and solid 12 damage. Roll me a deck save. Well, oh, the, uh, that was 18 damage, sorry. Yeah, uh, that... Alright, what? Deck save. Oh, okay. 25. Half damage. Dang it. So, Ooh. 15? Alright, so that would be 16. 16. He's just gonna, like, put his hand up and blast your face with fire. You nimbly dodge out of the way in place. But also uh, take a giant hunk of fire in the meantime. Yeah, fucking <clears throat> Neo dodge. And in that, in that scene, he also got shot, so there we go. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Aku. Ah. You have a myriad of fire. Oh, yeah. 
I do. You fucking wreck, nerd. Not an issue at all, not an issue at all. <laughs> but I also healed from all that damage I did, too, so. The 18? Yeah. A nice, chunky 18. I mean, it's a pretty good chunk. It's a pretty good chunk. You gonna, and you gonna move? For my, for my bonus action. I'm going to use the Artificer mod for my Blade of Broken Mirrors. While holding it, I make a bonus action to activate or deactivate that, shedding bright light in 30 feet. That goes away when he dies, What's I think. Because it's like on when he has like concentration up. Does it do does his magical infusions go away when he's dead? When who's dead? The artificer. Because um, it was an infusion, not a item. If I'm not mistaken, they actually stay. Yeah, you can actually you can carry around a dead artificer <laughs> and have their infusions. Okay. Is Zenith dead? No, he's unconscious, but he's getting there. I just wondered if it was like a concentration spell thing where as long as he's up, it's in. You know what I mean? Uh, I can always check. Yeah, yeah, bright light. In the face. Okay, it's light. So Infusions are permanent until the artificer dies. So when they die, die, then it goes away. But if they're unconscious, they're fine. So you put light in his yeah. face. Don't uh, know what yeah. that's supposed to do for him. Um, <coughs> yeah, do as a reaction. Oh, maybe it's because it's not in a reaction. Maybe it's the bonus action. Although, you didn't do damage to me, so I guess it doesn't matter. Otherwise, you would have been blinded. Okay. I mean, like, don't you have a bonus action? I thought you did. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. It's particular. I didn't do damage against I him. I used a hellish rebuke that did nothing. <laughs> Yeah, as a reaction immediately after being hit by an attack. Although it technically was hit, but it just didn't do anything. Does that count? When you're hit by an attack. Is that specifically what it says? I mean, as a reaction immediately after being hit by an attack. The wielder can expend one charge and cause the attack to be blinded until the end of the attacker's next turn. So an attack would be something like a weapon attack, like a physical attack or a anything of that sort. Not a spell or anything like that. Oh, okay. In that case, fuck that. We're stealthing, boys. How are you going to stealth when right in front of me? Uh, if you... I mean, I can kind of just do that. <laughs> Give me a stealth roll with disadvantage. Because you are, like, directly in front of him, but it's, it's possible, I suppose. 18. I don't know how you would be able to stealth while directly in front of my vision and sight. While the back of you is to a whirlpool, where if you go into it, you get hurt and swished Does away. Does whirlpool block any kind of sight? I will say he <clears> slipped <throat> behind you. With an 18, he slipped behind you and is currently doing that thing where every time you turn, he turns with you. But let me ask you this. Does the whirlpool block any kind of, like, no. obscure any kind of vision? Or it doesn't like obscure that? my sight. It's clear water. It obscures anything that's outside of the whirlpool. So you can't look into it, but I can look out of it. It's like tinted yeah, glass. Like I'm saying, like, you can't see out of said whirlpool, and someone cannot see into said whirlpool. So yeah, I can attempt to hide even when you are lightly obscured. Would, would that consider obscuring me? No, because you're <clears throat> both on the same side of the whirlpool. Wow. Yeah, because like my, my only thing is, like if you backed up into the whirlpool, you're getting damaged, and then now you're in the whirlpool sucked into it. If you go... Well, <clears throat> Anywho, Jerry. I will say you are messing with Aether. You're being a distraction. <laughs> Where did you go, you mutt? The fuck did he go? Aether just turning around in circles, Aku just directly behind him. Where the fuck is he? Um, Ophelia, I think you're up. Right. Now this is Jerry's turn. Help. No, this is Jerry's turn. Jerry, help! Hey, hey. Uh, get up, Jerry. I have gotten up. Hello. Uh, how is how, how far is Isaac? Mm -hmm. How 
far as oh, um, wait a minute, you're not where I thought you were. So you're probably close to, and imagine you're probably close to where Ophelia is standing. So not too far, maybe like thirty-five feet ish. <laughs> you like this beat though. We're good. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, you, you flying piece of shit. Please. Hey, that flying piece of shit. Hey. What? No one's flying. Hey. <laughs> Jerry, what's going on? I don't know, man. All right, I'm. He's having a mental breakdown. <sighs> He's melting. Right. How how lean is this person? If I go over to to ice and do do a how how lean is he? My walking speed is thirty feet. You say he's thirty five. Um. Can I throw my arm out a little bit? I mean, your movement's cut in half. Arm. It's too late to change my description. Of and my arm's about five feet long. To be fair, if someone is within... Okay, it's a touch spell. That's one thing. It is. It is a touch spell. But if someone is within, like, five feet of the, like, weapon attack, that is technically next to someone. So I would say that's feasible. Is he passing past me? I will say... How far is Jerry from me? <clears throat> Jerry... You and Aku are locked inside the whirlpool right now, basically having a, a cage match. Um, Jerry, I would say, would have to make his way around the whirlpool anyway, so he would not be within range. Damn it. I mean, unless you want to cut straight through. Unless you want to cut straight through, because that would be very weird. Um, <laughs> you could do that. That's entirely up to you, though, Jerry. Come on in, Jerry. The water's warm. Come for a swim. I'll kill you again. Do it, I dare you. You've done it more than your father can ever do. The irony is he's not <laughs> Again. Jerry's oh. killed me by accident twice. <laughs> I'll kill you on purpose this time. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, maybe I'll follow following your father's footsteps. Finally, becoming an assassin. At least you can. Uh. At least you can kill something. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> are you taking his bait, Jerry? Or are you gonna go around the world? <laughs> I'm gonna take his bait, he's gonna shut up. Well, Jared, come on, come into the whirlpool, I dare you. You can do it. Come kill me again. Alright. Uh, so you, you said Isaac is the saving throw like two times already? Yeah, he's killed the saving throw twice. Nice, good job, Isaac. <laughs> What a fucking loser. <laughs> Alright, is it? Okay. Hey, you say he's 35 feet? Yes. This this whirlpool, does it reflect projectiles? Hmm. That's a good question. I would say it would slow um, them down. Might suck them in. A little water spout. <laughs> it depends on the projectile. It doesn't matter because it will heal a friendly character within 60 feet of me. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm going to use a charge of Apollo's wrath and shoot in the general area of Isaac. 
could this come to heal me instead if I got sucked in a whirlpool? It's targeted. I mean, he's got the ability to do this. Gives the user blind sight in a 60 by 5 foot line. Has 10 charges, so he can see. He can actually see through the whirlpool. <laughs> so he could... Okay. I think it'd be so funny if I got sucked in the whirlpool and healed Ethan instead. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, you're allowed to do this. You're allowed to do this. God damn. I wouldn't say he wasn't allowed to do it. He was allowed to do it. I was just wondering if he got sucked in or not. No, the thing is, it's, he's not even firing an arrow. Oh, it's just a magical bolt. It's a magical effect, yeah. All right. So, how many charges do you want to use on this fuckhead? Um, you know, me, well, judging from a moral standpoint, me and Isaac haven't had much of a quarrel, so I think I think I could spare two charges. All right. <laughs> you use two charges of Apollo's wrath and manage to get Isaac back up on his feet. Right. And then I'll roll the uh, I'm out healed. Please and thank you. One of them is a one, and it's three. Total is three. <laughs> Isaac gets up very slowly. No scythe in hand, because I think one of you actually has his scythe. Uh, I do. <laughs> Naku has his scythe. He's just a very angry lad that's been bandaged up. Oh! And he just hit him at the top of the blocks. You father! Oh, he's finally up! Wasn't he brainwashed? I believe so, he was, yes. He was filled with spores. I'm beginning to think it was not a good idea to revive him. <laughs> Does the boy lug sauteed shrooms? He cannot see straight. And he is going to attack everything that moves within his range. And he is standing right next to the black hole. All it's just right, going to fall in. It's just a spinning top. Ready to hit anything. Let's fucking go for it. I mean, basically. <laughs> they blade. He's just going to hurt somebody if they come in range. <laughs> what a rip! Yeah, it's Rachel's turn. It is indeed Rachel's turn. Uh, Rachel has given her dagu to Aku. You're in a cage match. Has no hands. <laughs> uh, or she's arms. missing an arm. I thought she's uh, missing both arms, because I cut the other one off. No, you're mi you 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 cut off the one that Ophelia like kindly replaced. No, I thought that I cut the one arm off and I flinged the other one off that Ophelia gave her. No, that is the one that you cut off. <laughs> oh, okay. Um you have drenched her in holy water, which makes things difficult for her necromancy powers. Yep. Mm. Mm. Give me just a second. Has salt on it, so it crits. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> okay. She's gonna go ahead and cast blindness and deafness. On who? Mm, Aether. So Aether's now blind and deaf. I need a con save first to see if this actually happens. A con save, you say? That's a 14 plus 3 for 17. Okay. So you are indeed blind and deaf. Great. Ah. You're, actually, it says your choice of which one. So I'm going to pick... I would, uh, ra I would rather be deaf, because it's my choice. No, I'm saying like it's the user's choice. Oh. So I will pick blind. So. Ah, damn it. 
and she's going to actually I can't take it back now shit yep she's going to attempt to make her way over to Isaac with the small health pool that she has in order to try and calm him down can I hear this the stepping yes you can Hmm. Is it my turn? Uh. Mm, I need to make a persuasion. And. There's a nat 20 in persuasion. What is that? I have a question. Does the whirlpool make sound? The whirlpool does indeed make sound. It's rushing water. Hmm. Interesting. Why? I'm just wondering if that would impair his ability to hear what's going on around him fully. Hmm. I mean, that's a fair question. That is a fair question. He has a pretty high insight, so I'd imagine he knows what's going on. You'd have to go for perception, but yes. You, if you have a decent perception, then it's probably pretty okay. His perception is a passive of 11. What's the perception roll, though? Well, his, he has a passive insight of 17, a passive That's perception of 11. That's fairly good. Um, I'd say you can't roll lower than those, but, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Right, there is one thing I want to point out, though. On a blind target... They have disadvantage on attack rolls against an enemy that they cannot see, and um, enemies have uh, advantage on attacks against said blind target. So, I want to make that clear. Great. Um, but, let's see. <clears throat> okay. So that's all she can really do at the moment. Question. If I move in any direction, does Akko automatically follow me, or is he left behind? Or does he, he have to roll another save to keep following me? He would have to a... roll another save in order to actually stay in line. Otherwise, he would get hit by another round of water. So, my next question is, what do I... Do I know where Rachel is? Uh... Probably not accurately. You'd have to give me a perception check. It would be with disadvantage. Oh, let me roll that with disadvantage then. Twelve. First one was a thirteen, this one's a twelve. Okay. Still not below eleven, so I'll take that. It's a twelve. Um, you can't tell horribly well. You can hear, like, faint voices, but they're being muffled by the water. You can tell a direction but you can't tell distance. Well, I don't need a... I don't need... I just need a general direction. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action for a expeditious... because my expeditious retreat is on, allowing me to use a bonus action dash. Correct? Yep, that would work. So I'm using my bonus action to dash... And I'm going to move... I'm going to use my 50 feet to kind of like... I'm going to move... I will... She was 25 feet away from me. Aether would be thinking he's going to move 30 feet... 30, 35 feet, like 5 feet to the left of where she originally was. And just kind of stand there. So at least maybe the whirlpool would hit her. So you're trying to run towards her, but slightly to the left of her? Slightly to the left of where she was before, in his memory. Like where he thinks she is right now? Yes. He's going to move five feet from her original position, because that's the only way that he can really think... Of like, if I move at least close enough, the whirlpool will hit her. Okay. 
That's his only logic. I'm just trying to make sense of how this looks right now. Okay, first thing that has to happen, Aku, I need a deck save. 26. Okay. So you're taking half damage, 2d6, and 2d8. Oh, I'll roll it. Wouldn't he just be taking normal damage because it's crit? Exactly. So just 20. Right, you're getting <clears throat> smack for 20. Um, Rachel, I need a deck save from both of them. Rachel gets a 17, and Isaac gets 14. It doesn't matter, though. Isaac's is down again. Spell save is 17, so does she pass or fail? It goes to... Is matching a save, actually. Beat or equal. Um, equals or exceeds the target number, so she does pass. Okay. <clears throat> Would he know that Aku is still behind him? Uh, he didn't know that Aku was behind him in the first place. He stealth, true, remember? True, true, true. You're, to, you're focusing on Rachel. Yes. Um, but there is a problem. What's the problem? A very large problem. Rachel ran to Isaac. Isaac is standing near the black hole. So now, technically, you are near the black hole. Mm hmm. Like, I'd say within about five feet of it. I thought I wasn't affected by its movement, though, because I was with the Zakmoy. It's still a black hole. Fair enough. You're not, um, you're not affected by the movement. You're not getting sucked towards it, but it's if you touch it, it's not going to be a good time. Yeah. Um, he's just going to... I want to... I got to check something. I'm sorry, everyone. Gary, your efforts are appreciated, but your friend is now down again. Just know that he loves you, because you're the only one who actually healed him. Is Lay on Hands a action or a no action? Uh, Lay on Hands, I think, is a bonus action. Oh, Lay on Hands, one action. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use my Lay on Hands on myself. Uh, is it touch? Can you do that to yourself? It's a touch. It's for me or anyone else I want to give my HP to. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give okay. myself 50 HP. Oh dear. Oh, nice. I can either... I don't have any diseases, so... That's up 50 for me. Okay. Is that it for you? Um. That would be it for me, yes. Okay. Uh, Ophelia. Ophelia is going to look at Aether and she's going to say, I don't want you dying or getting hurt. I don't know if this is the right decision but this way I think everyone will be okay and okay. she's going to cast banishment at 5th level which needs a charisma save something he's decent at that's a 27 plus Holy 3 for shit. 30 alright 
You passed, GG. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. He has a plus. Someone's gonna have to kill you. He has a plus twelve to charisma, my dude. <laughs> that yeah. means we appreciate the attempt at a peaceful scenario. I'm. I was just gonna send him home. Uh, Actually, that would have been smart too. I know. That's why out. I was gonna use it. It would have just put him back on his plane. Alas. Now you take the plane to hell. The plane to hell. Uh, <laughs> he gets home. <laughs> all right. Well. Aether just kind of looks in a different direction. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Ah, uh, Zenith, baby, you were skipped over. Let's see what you get. Ha, <laughs> it's a fail. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Aku, you're... Oh, it's... Well, I would say it's Isaac's turn, but Isaac's dead. Dying. And Isaac is down, so... Is he pulled into the black hole? Um, he's not moving. Okay, now he's dead. <laughs> God damn it. He, he rolled in that one. God damn oh. it. Oh man. Rest in peace. His ass is grass. Poor little guy had a, had a heart attack. I gave you two turns. He got so angry when Jerry <laughs> revived him. Had a heart attack. Had a heart attack and then oh fell like God, what a way to go! Oh, well, he, he was already <laughs> dead, technically. He died in his sleep, and pissed Rick off in anger. Through, sadly, as he just rolls into the abyss of the sphere of annihilation. <laughs> Goodbye. Rest in peace, scumbag. <laughs> Oh, did I hear something thump to the floor? I wonder whose dead body that was. That'll be you next, buddy. <laughs> oh, Jerry. I, c I would be so glad if you were to kill me. It would, ooh, it would make me filled with glee that you are doing better than your father ever did. You listen here, man. I'm gonna pull your pants down. I don't have anything. He's talking all this shit, but Aku's been slaying literally everybody. Not Even really, except for him. <laughs> You're not really slaying him, though. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like all the other creatures we've come across so far. Yes, but you've never managed to kill him. The thing you keep I mean, saying you're going to kill, but you can't. You just don't kill him. No, there, there was only the one fight. Just the one. Rachel looks over back at uh, back at Aether now that uh, Isaac has rolled into the thing and she looks very distraught for Rachel I'm gonna kill you myself well that would be a welcome change I don't like this thing that's on me it's forcing me to feel good about Things I don't wish to feel good about. Forced or not, you're just going to suffer horribly until you fade away into dust. And I'm going to love every single second, because you're going to feel every moment. Why do you hate me so? Well, I wonder why she hates you right now. <laughs> it's uh, not... Like, kind of killed a party and her... Best friend just fucking died. It's, for not, it's not his fault though. No. But no, she... but you can understand why she'd be rejected. Yes, yes, I can understand. <laughs> you made him have a heart attack. What the fuck? Oh, this guy has the death note on him. Wait, what? He wrote his name down in the book. He had a heart attack and he died. <laughs> oh shit, his name so... is in my book. Ah, wait. Oh. Did you say his name is in your book? Well, it's too late now. <laughs> well, no, it's not. That's kind of the point. If they go, if they, if die, they die, they come back. Wait, I mean, where's the yeah, actual? Hold on, hold on. It's yeah. There. But I'm saying that he got sucked in the hole, so it's too late now. You could revive him in the hole, 
It's like a blender. Like, you're on the oh, opposite no. side of the blender. <laughs> oh, it's no. Just, it's just gonna get poofed out in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> I'm alive, but now I'm in an abyss? Is this just consciousness? <laughs> like, he could be alive. He could actually be alive. Just in another universe. Just yeah. in a very bad place. <laughs> could be a good place. Could be a bad place. You never know. Whatever he is, he's with Zuckmoy, which is... I realize, unfortunately, this was already used for Jerry before. I haven't taken a long rest in a really long time. I think uh, I used it for Jerry already. Nope, he's dead. Yeah, he's, he's dead. dead. He's gone. Oh, poor guy. Long gone. Aku, what he's you gone. doing, brother? All right. Aku? I think I'm you're gonna, up. I'm gonna stab him with Rachel's knife. Okay, roll. What am I rolling? Am I rolling... Just um, a dagger, or... Because I have one of those. You don't know what it is, and I want to see if there's any bonuses on it. If there is, I'll tell you. Alright, so just roll a regular dagger, then? Uh, yes, for now. Alright. Uh, 30? Yeah, that hits. That hits. Alright, and then I'll just do the second attack, just to get that out of the way. No, the second one's a 16. That's a fail. Alright. So All it's right, a so. plus one, so it was a 31. But, um, give me, give me damage before I tell you what happens here. Alright, so, still had the pig mask on, so. I rolled an 8. 12. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't have any of the augmentations, so it'd be 12 plus... One or a thirteen. Um, yeah, but I also heal. Thank God. So, the dagger ha looks like a very large sewing needle to you, and you just hear Rachel scream something like "mend," and you start seeing Aether's flesh from when he's alive reforming. Huh. Neat. And he's bleeding. Horribly. Huh. You don't see that every day. Give me an insight with advantage. Uh, 17? It's... You're an assassin. So you know a lot about weaponry? Uh, yeah. It's called a needle of mending. Normally you can use it in really mundane circumstances to use mending on something. Like just repair it. But when you use it on an undead creature, it has a tendency to make them alive again. Huh. So mm. he's got his mortality back. Unless he dies, and then he gets his remnant. So, you're suffering right now. You're not technically undead anymore. You're like half undead, half not. Well, he's back to the same hell that he was before, so yeah, he's suffering. Ah, 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 what in the <laughs> fuck is happening? Man, this was uh, sound like when I coo. Anyways, you've got staring, uh, tearing skin and flesh, and your organs are reforming, but also being ripped as Aku is stabbing you. What the hell, Rachel? Ah, she oh. gives you a thumbs up. Aku good thumbs up back. I will kill all of you for this pain. Making me remember this pain. Now, when you're dying, do you feel shit coming out of your body? <laughs> Jerry. Like actual <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I'm going to inform you, like, mechanically what this is doing. It makes undead able to be hit by necrotic damage again. 
Hey! Well, well, well. Doesn't do any extra damage, it just makes you more vulnerable to it. So, it's not gonna be pleasant. Of course, that doesn't take effect now, because you were just skin and bones until now. Well, bones until now. Um, but for future reference. Huh. In a character moment here, this is causing Aether to get flashbacks to when he was um, painfully, painfully tortured. Yeah, that sounds about right. In I mean, the realm of Cinder. Rachel did tell you she wanted you to suffer. Probably won't forgive her after this. Probably yeah. not. No. It won't matter. But he'll probably just. It's your turn. He'll probably just. To be honest, I he's probably just gonna kill her bonus. after this. It is uh, Jerry's turn. I didn't do my bonus, which. Oh, you yes. know. Oh, please continue. Stealth. Twenty nine. Poof. And back behind him you go. <laughs> I think he wouldn't be able to stealth anymore because now he's getting covered in blood. Give me a stealth with disadvantage. Fuck it. You're getting covered with blood and viscera and guts. Kind of stands like a sore thumb. It's, I mean, it's still a 21. Plus, exactly. You have to. You're still going to pass it. I know that, unfortunately. But you also have to be careful about where you're moving and how you're stealthing because the black hole is literally right next to all of you. Yeah. So, you are staying on one side, but you're pretty easily able to be pretty easily found. For right now, you do have your stealth, and you do have advantage because he's still blinded. Can we pause for a second? Sure. Good. Uh, whose turn is it? Let me see. Unpaused. Jerry's turn. It is Jerry's turn. Jerry. <laughs> How do you feel now the person you actually healed has been sucked into the void? I, you know, honestly, I feel like through his life he probably deserved it at some point, so I don't feel as bad. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's a great um, way to look at it. He's still a psychopathic murderer. Uh, don't forget, no. his best friend is still out like, out here listening. Yeah, don't say that shit while Rachel's around. My poor Rachel. No. But yeah, I, I think I think uh, you know the, the, he's, he's gonna be very painful. He's talking shit, man. He's talking shit. Jerry's basically just saying sometimes it'd be like that. He's he, he talking shit, and uh, that ain't right, man. I'm gonna. Hmm. Jerry, it's up to you. Rachel like looks over at you as you're as you're talking shit. Mm -mm. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking about the other guy he talking shit. I'm, I'm about to do something to him. Oh, I'm proud yeah, of you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm about to do something. He's going to be like, wow, ba -ba -ba, I shouldn't have said such things. <laughs> now, this is your last chance to apologize. Why is I like want you to apologize. Is I he want you to <laughs> apologize. Is he asking Aether to apologize? Yes. On one, on one hand, Aether wants to... He doesn't really want to do any of this. But he's kind of being forced to. Give me a charisma save, Aether. He, he, like... One half of Aether is... That's a 19. You can speak. Freely? Yeah. Without the influence? Mm hmm Rachel, I am sorry that I've said such mean things, and I am sorry, Aku, Jerry, and Ophelia, however, I am being controlled right now. I don't have my body to myself. I'm a puppet right now, and as much as I would love to either vanish from this point and not feel this awful pain that I'm experiencing because of certain people, I can't control my body or my actions. Rachel's gonna use her reaction to bleed on you. She's bleeding on me? Yes. Why? Out of spite. You fucking cat. <laughs> and 
uh, while I have no <clears throat> disdain for most of you, Rachel, you are pushing my upper limits. He gives you a thumbs up and pulls her cheek into a smile. When this is all over, I am murdering you. It gives you an actual smile. Now will one of you kill me so I don't have to endure this any longer? You don't have to ask me twice. I was going to kill you anyway. I hate you. <laughs> I thoroughly hate you, Rachel. Aku, for the love of God, kill me this time. Okay. It's not his third bite. <laughs> yeah, you have to wait. Jerry, please finish what your father started. I heard you say sorry to Rachel, but you didn't say sorry to me, buddy. What did Jerry, I you're do? To Goku. What did I do to you? Oh, you be talking smack. I want you to say sorry. I. How can I say <laughs> sorry for something that I can't even remember doing? That's where we come to a problem. If you don't remember what you have offended me by, I'm gonna shoot you in the mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out Apollo's Wrath and I'm gonna use the rest of my, what was it, eight charges of Apollo's Wrath of Necrotic Damage to the Witch Mini. <laughs> you <God>. asshole. <laughs> he genuinely doesn't even know what's going on right now. Rest in peace, man. You didn't say sorry. <laughs> All you had to do was say sorry. All you had to do was say sorry. Say sorry for what, though? That's what he was asking. He's, he's not saying he wouldn't say sorry. He's asking what did he do to... What did he do, Jerry? <laughs> what did I do? That's what he's asking. Like, what did he do? Talking smack. He talking smack. Yeah, I don't respect that. It doesn't matter to who, I think. I think it's just the fact that he was doing it. Why does he want Jerry to apologize to him specifically? He's just asking to Jerry, to like, Jerry, what did I do? You talk smack. I'm sorry. I'm not in control of my body, mouth, or okay, mind. Okay, okay, you say sorry. That's all I need. I just need a sorry. Now please kill me. Please. I'm going to with one charge. <laughs> I think this is just more drawn out. This is probably worse. <laughs> Alright, so... Hit. It's coughing up blood now. It's a 23 hit. Yeah, that hits. Alright, okay. So it's 1d8 plus 6. And then added a d6. Yeah, that, yep. that's gonna hit. Um, alright, alright. How's that feel? Does it sting? Jerry, you're an ass. Does it sting? Does it? As you shoot him, he's like, he just, I can't scream right now because. Ah! <laughs> I, I can't hear you. What the you hell was that? <laughs> Ah! Uh, <laughs> fuck! I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll uh, God! A Damn it! Jerry, I said kill me, not hinder me! <laughs> That's a 29 hit? <laughs> 20. Yeah. Okay, alright, alright, okay, alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put two charges on this one. So I'm gonna do the 1d8 plus 6, and then the two charges. That's 11 plus 4. That's 15 damage. Now, how's that feel? Why are you saying this so enthusiastically? <laughs> He's just evolved into a sadist. He's just a little goober guy. The pain, it's awful. 
Yeah, oh. tell me. <laughs> Although you said sorry, I still, I still, it still hurts. I want you to feel how much it stings when your words oh hurt. All right. Jerry, my insides are growing, then disintegrating. I'm dying over and over. Hey. Not my problem. <laughs> I will be perfectly honest. I had this up my sleeve for a little bit, and I felt like it was a horrible way for someone who's undead to go. Yeah, it, it is. He's basically dying, living and re-dying over and over again, but never fully dying. That's pretty metal. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah, but it's metal as fuck. I mean, Aether's, Aether's, a, Aether's a good boy. Like, he's try. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't ask. He didn't ask for this. He is, yeah. he is a good lad. He is a good lad. Look, he didn't know. He's basically he's he's sitting there Sorry. begging Aku, like genuinely begging him to kill him. Hey, you have to wait my like, turn. Like <laughs> like crying, begging. You have to wait my turn, pal. Whose turn is it? Rachel's. Uh, I don't. Is it? Yeah. Oh. You fucking asshole. Who are you calling an asshole? It's talking to Rachel. I like how Aether's mad at Rachel, even though Aku's the one that stabbed him with the thing. It's, it's Rachel's knife, though. Yeah, but Aku did it. Yeah, but she did give it to you because she knows that you can stab him better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's Rachel gonna do? Mm. He's still upset with you. I would have said, if I was being nice, I would have had her drag you into the, the hole. I would have I would have been, been that nice. But no. She's instead just <clears> going <throat> to sit on the ground and watch. Is that it? Yeah, she's not doing anything. Does Aether know where Zenith is? Yep. He does? Mm-hmm. Friend, I... Hate, I don't hate you for this, but if we can get through this together... At least... Ugh. Does he know he's next to a hole? The... You can hear it. Give me a perception check. Thirteen. You can definitely tell which direction it's in. You can't see it, though. Can I make another charisma save to... be him? Be in control? Yeah. Yeah, I'd allow that. 29 plus 3, 32. Perfect. <clears throat> He's going to uh, take the um, Nine Lives Stealer and he is going to give it to Aku. He just hand, he just kind of holds it up. Aku, where are you? Friend, please. I am in control for the moment. <coughs> okay. Take my blade. I gift it to you as a present of our friendship. Oh man. This is just sad now. You're gonna make me sad. I accept, but damn. Does he know where Rachel is? Yes. Yes, he does. Make me a constitution saving throw. Okay. That is a 16. <sighs> He's going to paralyze her. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Wait, uh, no. His... The Wanda Paralysis is a DC 15. I don't know if his, like, thing would come into play or not. Wanda Paralysis is a 15? 
Or a 17, because his spell save is a 17. Spell save is a 17? Um, I think that actually still works. I'm not mistaken. So she's paralyzed? Uh, Bug it must succeed on a DC 15. I'm just wondering, because it says 15 for the one, but a spell save is 17. Right, but it, since it's an item, it doesn't go off your spell save. It goes off what the item says. Okay, well, he's just going to throw himself in the hole. Can I get that sword first? He gave it to you. Oh, yeah. So. He just says to you, I don't want to hurt any of you any longer. Goodbye. And you jump in the hole. When you do this, everything begins to shake. The entire church is coming down, but even more so, it feels like, like in everyone's peripheral vision, like flashes of light are occurring. Things are just disappearing where they're not supposed to be. The sphere itself has turned to ash, and it's just kind of dripping out from inside of it. The ash of which, unfortunately, is Aether, and Isaac, actually, and Zethmoy. Poor little guys and bitch. Um, Aether is truly dead now. Aether is dead. The ash, though, does creep towards... Is Zenith actually made his, his death saves? Um... Well... If he was getting pulled all this time towards the hole, he would have already gone in the hole by now. What I'm saying is, like, has Zenith passed his death saves? Uh, he has two failed, and the whirlpool would have moved in front of him, Yes. So you would have taken damage and failed again. Okay. So he's dead. He is oh. dead. Like, straight oh, up dead. Good. I'm going to flip a coin. Give me just a second. Can I just tell you who I want dead? Sure. I want Zenith to die. Okay. Then I want you to do one thing for me. What's that? Give me an intelligence save. From who? Aether. Oh, buddy, you asked me on the wrong thing. <laughs> There's a negative one to in. But that's a 19 plus 3. I mean, that's still pretty solid. I take that. Um, so you remember and are in control entirely. Um, as you're sucked in, the sphere collapses in on itself. Zenith got sucked in earlier, I'll say, which seems fair given the number of turns. I hadn't been keeping track of it either, actually. I was keeping track, but don't worry. Um, the Sphere of Annihilation has embedded itself in your chest. Great. But right. it's not harming you anymore. It has dissipated through your whole being. Great. I'm an SCP now. I mean, hell yeah. Us. You are in one piece. Reality is still falling apart, mind you. Um, and in place of the sphere, you are enveloped in white light and have disappeared. There's a giant hole in the ground of pure light. The entire church is slowly fading towards the rest of the party. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna walk over to Rachel. Hey, how's it going? He doesn't say much. She just picks up her arm. Well, Ophelia's arm. 
he Aku hands her the the needle dagger thing. She sews it back on slowly without saying much of a word. Thanks. Yeah, <clears throat> I understand. So he would pats her on the head. So would Aku mourn his friend? Not he wouldn't show anybody that he is. On the inside. Yep. Well, you now have him as a sword. This is true. Well, you have a sword to remember him by. Yeah. And that other thing he gave me. Which was? Uh, some other coin thing, I think. I don't remember. A crisp high five. <laughs> okay. Two characters are dead. Um, don't assume yet. <clears throat> uh, the rest of you, what are you doing? P.S. Brad is actually doing his best to kind of like hold up the ceiling. <laughs> oh, Brad. By which I mean he's not really trying. It's just kind of falling on him and he's acting as like an umbrella for you guys. If I come back as a ghost, I want to haunt Ophelia. So, what are you doing now? I'm wondering, where's the rest of the party? Jerry, Ophelia? What are you guys doing? Is Ophelia still here? Ah, no, go away. Hey. Right. Hi. I said if I come back as a ghost, I want Ophelia to, uh... I come back as a ghost, I want to haunt Ophelia. Is... I'd be happy to haunt someone. Don't listen to him yet. I haven't said anything. Damn it, Ghost Aether. As I said, I'd be happy to haunt someone. I could be a second voice in Aku said. Um, oh man, Jerry, I feel like you do not have anything to say. So bird sucked in, but skeleton's okay. Skeleton, skeleton sacrificed is... himself. No, skeleton is not here. Okay, there's he got sucked giant... in. There's just a giant white space where he was. Interesting. Uh, I think I'm gonna go over. Ophelia's gonna go over to Rachel, and uh, she's gonna point to the arm. She's gonna say, "Do you need any help with that?" I can attach it. It's all right. You've already given me one. I don't need another one. Can I hold your other hand? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. She's just gonna hold her hand. He is <clears throat> in tears. Aww. We should go. You know, before whatever that is gets over here. She just points to the end of the hallway and it's just being erased in cartoonish fashion towards you. Huh. Oh. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we... I think that's a good idea. She takes a quick step back and falls in a hole. Aku catches her? Question mark? Uh, Is that intentional? Did she know that was there? I trust her. She's holding my hand, so I'm going down with her. True. This is true. Alright, well, I'm 
moves away. I do cannonball. Or if he shrugs and kind of just like hops in, feet first. Have I leveled up at all? Um, yes, Aether has. <clears throat> um, as you jump into this wide spaced hole, you see Brad kind of waving goodbye to Jerry. Aww. I miss you, buddy. I am Jerry Mandarin. <laughs> no, you're not, you're Brad. It's the last thing he's going to hear. You see something kind of wiggle and drop out. Oh my god, did he lay an egg? <laughs> Another one. <laughs> what is it? Tell me, Dia, what is it? As you're falling, it sticks to your forehead. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> I think he just pooped on you. It is a campestry. A what? It is a little mini bread. Aww. Well, well, well. I'm going to name you Georgie. I am Georgie. And I'm going to stick you in my boot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't put me in the boot. on your toes. Boot fungus. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Unlike Brad, he speaks in full sentences. Don't put me in the boot, please. Uh, Alright, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? <laughs> just, just, not in the boot. Anywhere but the boot. I'm going to stick you in my sleeve. And he goes in your sleeve. Alright. You should have put him up your nose. Oh, no. In your butt. Oh my god. He'll be your little Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but on a, on a, on a less light note, <clears throat> you guys are falling out of the sky. When you walk away, <laughs> you <laughs> don't <laughs> hear me <laughs> say, please! <laughs> oh, it is no. storming. It is dark. You have just fallen through. I need a deck save from all of you. Because you are trying to roll out of the way of lightning as you pass through these clouds. I got an 18. Oh, that's a dex check. Dexterity save? I got yep. a 27. Okay, okay. I'm using my inspiration for advantage on this. Wait, no, that's not how inspiration works. That's not advantage. What is it again? What, how do you use inspiration? Oh. 1d12? One... Yep. Thank you. Okay, so first. My inspiration to watch you use your inspiration. <laughs> use my d12. That's a three. And then I'm gonna roll. And that's a seven. So that's ten. Wow. You have been zapped by lightning. Ouchie. <laughs> you are taking 46. Roll it for me, sunny boy. That's a 12. Ouch. You got zapped on the asshole. On like the actual anus? Damn, it rim it gave you a it gave you a rim job. Jesus. They're playing darts. Uh, it's rimming no. you. <laughs> playing darts with the asshole. Alright. Anyway. Rimming you. Exit the clouds. Um it is still pouring water. And you can see there is a city getting very close to your face. Everything has gone black. And the five of you awake in an alley. Oh. Ah. Where are we? I don't know, Aku, where are you? Aku <laughs> looks around frantically. Uh oh, are we in Aku's world? What do you mean the I five of us? 20. Zenith Aku's isn't there. Alley. Aku, are you doing a perception? Yeah. Okay. 
there's a handful of things that do make sense to you and don't make sense to you. One, you're alive. You just fell out of the sky. We should be dead. Two, it's cold, it's wet, you're <clears> soaked, <throat> but this all feels very familiar. Ah, uh, this feels like home. Being wet feels like home, put that on yeah. a shirt. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, you got you got hit by lightning in your butthole. He points and laughs at Ophelia. Yeah. Three. Ophelia's asshole is singed. God. What smells like burnt ham? <laughs> butthole ham. No. Ham butthole. Ham hole. Okay. <laughs> I didn't what order did the ham hocks. Got the ham hocks. The last and most important one is um Aether is here. What the hell what up? Hey, how's it going? What in the dear what in the fuck where oh, am man. I? Your ass is on Oh well, yeah. You're just lying on the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna go over and slap Aether's ass. In fact, I will say you are unconscious, upside down in a barrel. Eh, even God threw him away. <gasps> Jesus. That's not nice. <laughs> it's alright, Aku's gonna pay for it later anyways, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh yes, I have intentions of making you pay. Exactly. <laughs> Five dollars. Aku's gonna burn gonna in hell for that. what he did. Aether, is, his feet are just sticking up out of the barrel, and you just hear snoring. He, he can't. Nap. He can't sleep though. He can a nappy wappy. I need a nap. Then you hear gasping because he doesn't even know why he's alive. How good kicks the barrel? The barrel. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> is that any way to appreciate that your friend is alive? You don't know what I've been through. Okay. And Aether, uh, the in save from before was to see how much you remember. You do recall everything. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Am I awake? You are indeed awake. He turns into a pile of bones and then reshapes himself. <sighs> this is where? Oh dear lord. The fuck are we? Where are we? Also, I don't know. He's gonna climb out of the barrel and then he's gonna rush to Aku and. Aku, my friend! And he's gonna hug you. Just like. Aku he's gonna. hugs him back. And he tries to hide a smile, but he can't. And he's just gonna, like. He's just gonna, like, hug Aku and pick him up. Alright, big guy, put me down. That's cute. I you're am. Bigger so, than me. For I am so glad you're alive. I'm glad you're alive, bud. What the hell? You're supposed to be dead. I have no idea. Eh, whatever. He Get looks. Sword he looks. He, out the nine life he, he looks at his bones. It appears I'm kind of alive. So, I want you to do a charisma. Uh, what, what would this be? I want you to do an insight with advantage. Fourteen. Oh, with advantage, you said. Mm-hmm. Twenty-one. You don't feel yourself. Which by, uh, by which I mean you do feel yourself, but you feel more than yourself. I... I don't know what's going on here. I... I feel as if I'm full of life, but... I'm still an undead. You kind of search what you know and find yourself with memories you don't recognize. Some that you do. Um, you have Zenith's memories. You have Zuckmoy's memories. And you have Isaac's memories. Rachel... Hmm. I don't know how to put this, but 
I remember meeting you before I met you. He takes a deep breath and looks around. To answer your question, we're in Baldur's Gate. Falcon perks up. What? I remember you before I, rem I have met you. I also have foggy memories of my friend Zenith. Now, where is that rap scandal? The puckered bird? Where has he gone off and rushed off to? I'm sure he's flapping his wings about at some pub. Speaking of rushing off, Aku frantically climbs up the side of the building to the roof. He's going to snatch his sword first and take it back. Yeah, that's fine. He's, he, he's going to hand it to him anyways. I want you to acknowledge something, too. On top of Aku seeing this as a very familiar place, so does Aether. Why do I see this as a familiar place? Mm, why do you? I don't know. I'll roll a history check. And you can do so with advantage. Good, because I have a negative one. That's a 16. Some of the memories that aren't yours line up with you being here. Aku, my friend. Aku's up on the roof already. He, Aku's on the roof. He just looks up. Aku, why are you on the roof? He ignores him. More concerned with his own well-being. My friend, I do not recognize this place, yet it seems so familiar. This is a famous city. I'm sure it's because you've heard of it. And she goes out into the alley looking around. Wait one moment, Rachel. He's ignoring you. <laughs> He's gonna, like, uh, try to grab her shoulder. Trying to tear off my arm again? Uh, no, no. Could you turn around for a second? What now? Ah, just one thing. Just one tiny itty bitty thing. What, you want me to die? Uh, mm, no. Mm. Is she immune to necrotic? Resistant, not immune. He's gonna smack her with a vampire touch. That's fine. He takes it. What's the damage? 18 to 9. He smacks her across the face with a vampire touch. That is for making me go through that excruciating pain, and I do not forgive you for that. However, with that said, I at least have my hands swung at you now. Second, I fondly remember you without ever meeting you beforehand. Something about some kind of first floor meeting of some sort. Probably some strange necromancy magic, I'm sure. In any case, it's more important to figure out what the hell's going on here. She's very gone at the moment. <laughs> but, unless anyone has any last minute stuff to do. do you... Um, He's just probably going to hug Ophelia and be like, Ophelia! I'm glad... Whatever the fuck happened, happened. You're somehow okay. I'm, I hope I didn't hurt you too bad. The lightning did more damage than you could, bud. Don't worry about it. She's gonna just kind of knock on his skull. Like, rap, rap, rap. This is good to hear. Ha! <laughs> Aku laughs. <laughs> now, where shall we go? Oh, Jerry, give me give me a last word. Any last word. Hey, how's it going? Okay, that's where we're ending the session. <laughs> <laughs>